Hey everybody and good morning from the happiest place on earth, Disneyland. It is reopening day for the out-of-state visitors. I am here as a California resident from Southern California and I'm so glad to be celebrating today the reopening day of the economy for the state of California. It is so exciting to be back. So much is opening up here at Disneyland and a lot more to come. Phase reopening continues here at Disneyland. And take a look at beautiful Main Street, USA. So pretty. And as I am walking here at Disneyland, an old familiar friend has arrived. We are talking about road drop happening again here at Disneyland. Rope drop is back. There's all the ropes to show you guys. There is the iconic Matterhorn Mountain. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. There's Buzz Lightyear Astro Blaster. I am so excited because Buzz Lightyear is reopening next Friday right here at Disneyland. It's gonna be exciting. And Friday, July 2nd, the iconic Matterhorn Mountain reopens. And it's gonna be very exciting to go back on that ride again. So excited to go down the icy slopes again. Now I'm gonna bring to you guys the very first rope drop of 2021 as rope drop is continuing again. It's so good to sit back, to listen to that intro music, and you can hear the announcement in the background. This is your first visit or your 100. We hope you'll find the joy of being young at heart here with us. Thank you. And may you enjoy your day in this magical place called Disneyland. Buenos dias y bienvenidos a Disneyland, el lugar más feliz del mundo. Estamos encantados con su visita. Hoy día el reto mágico abrirá a las nueve de la mañana. Y ya sea esta su primera visita o la centésima. And here's the road drop for Adventureland. A lot of these people are going to go straight to Indiana Jones once road drop happens.
And here's the road drop in front of the partner statue. They're getting the rides up and going at a park opening. Ride testing underway to get going. So once nine o'clock hits, everybody's gonna be heading to their first ride of the day. And here's the road drop for Tomorrowland. A lot of these people are gonna go to Space Mountain once the road drop happens at nine o'clock. I miss our little, uh... We're about 35 minutes away from the park opening up for the day. There's always a chance they may drop the rope early. Depends how crowded it gets. Crazy crowded. Oh, and I didn't notice this. Try to zoom in and get you a view of it. The waterfall on the Matterhorn Mountain is on it's up and running and it looks like they're doing ride testing too to the matterhorn beautiful shot of the waterfall the matterhorn mountain Now while we wait for road drop to happen, if you are heading to the park this weekend and you have reservations for this weekend, I wanted to inform you, starting Thursday, Pizza Planet will be opening up again in Tomorrowland. Hasn't been open since the park's reopened. And over in Galaxy's Edge, on Thursday, Olga's Cantina reopens and the Docking Bay food place reopens in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. On Thursday, it's so exciting to see so many places reopen. That will be over in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So if you're coming to the park this week, there will be more food choices starting Thursday. And also reopening on Thursday is over here by Adventureland. The Tiki Bar. The Tiki Juice Bar will be reopening on Thursday as well. Mobile order will be available at all these locations. It's so exciting. So you could get your Dole Whip from the Tiki Juice Bar right next to the Enchanted Tiki Room starting Thursday. And as you can see here, and of course me, as I've been showing you, Disneyland has dropped the mask requirement. If you have been fully vaccinated, you do not need to wear a mask at all. So that is huge. No more masks 
here at Disneyland if you've been fully vaccinated. If you haven't been fully vaccinated yet, I recommend doing so. Get yourself vaccinated. So next time you're here at Disneyland and Disney California Adventure, you do not have to wear a mask. Right until you're fully vaccinated, you would have to wear a mask until you're fully vaccinated. There's the parade route going all the way down to Small World by the Matterhorn. Let me uh, show you the looks of the crowd pouring into here from Main Street, USA as we await uh, rope drop. If you're planning on coming to Disneyland or Disney California Adventure, reservations are still required. You still have to make a theme park reservation to start off either in Disneyland or California Adventure if you have park hoppers. And then you can park hop starting after 1 p.m. And speaking of California Adventure, I wanted to inform you guys that as of today, they are opening up the last ride in California Adventure, and that's the Golden Zeppler. That is a pretty good ride if you like the Golden Zeppler. It will be reopening today. And I heard the Animation Academy and the Sorcerer's workshop is reopening as well this week pretty exciting and next month over in Adventureland July 16th the Jungle Cruise will be reopening. Can't show you any good views of it right now because like they have it all scrimmed up. But the ride will be reopening July 16th with new scenes. I'll be here on July 17th, Disneyland's birthday. And uh, I'll try to get a video for you guys of the new Jungle Cruise. I cannot wait to see how it goes and what it looks like. But it's gonna be exciting. It's starting to get a little more crowded here now as we await road drop. Got about another 25 minutes until the park opens. I'm going to a building where 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 I'm going
distancing all of the physical distancing markers have been removed there is no more physical distancing markers around the park they have been completely taken out as the physical distancing restrictions have ended and uh, capacity limits have ended so Disneyland will slowly be making their way back up to 100% not right away, but slowly going back to full capacity. Probably be back at full capacity sometime later this year. And that's just gonna allow more guests to come in. And starting this Friday, more parking will be available. The Toy Story lot will reopen. And if you park in Toy Story and you ride the shuttles, you will need to wear a mask for temporarily just while you're on the shuttle bus from the Toy Story lot over to the Disneyland Resort on the harbor side. Once you get dropped off and you get off the bus, you can take the mask off. You won't have to wear it. But while you're on the bus, you need to wear a mask. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up. That will be starting this Friday, June 18th. the dining places that are reopening including Olga's Cantina that's reopening on Thursday you need to have a reservation for it and it kind of looks like they are not available right now the reservations have gone by fast you can book your reservation for food places to eat at 60 days in advance 
and if you're coming to the parks, you can plan your days in the parks 120 days in advance. So that's a little more information to give you guys. Just plan accordingly if you're going to be planning to come here to Disneyland and Disney California Adventure Park at the Disneyland Resort. Good morning, and welcome to Disneyland, the happiest place on Earth. We're delighted to have you as our guests. This morning, the Magic Kingdom will open at 9 o'clock. And whether this is your first visit or your 100th, we hope you'll find the joy of being young at heart here with us. Thank you, and may you enjoy your day in this magical place called Disneyland. Y bienvenidos a Disneyland, el lugar más feliz del mundo. Estamos encantados con su visita. Hoy día, el reino mágico abrirá a las 9 de la mañana. Y ya sea esta su primera visita o la centésima, esperamos que encuentren la alegría de ser joven de corazón aquí con nosotros. Gracias y disfruten su día en este mágico lugar llamado Disneyland. I 
was like, really? What did you want to do? Everyone's so mean. So mean. What's up, little man? Hi. How are you? Looks like you're tired, too. Six o'clock? I won't go to seven. Can it be here at 745? Of course, I'm living close. <laughs> We got 15 more minutes until rope drop. Look at all of this crowd here, waiting for rope drop. There's the castle.
Got 10 minutes to go until the rope drop. Look at the geese. Look at the geese ducks. So pretty. It is pretty exciting to be back to normal here at the Disneyland Resort. Whether you're in Disneyland Park or Disney California Adventure, it is so good to be back to normal today. California has officially reopened its economy. Attention, please. In less than seven minutes, it will be nine o'clock. Opening Yay! time. Yay! We will be removing this rope out of your way, but please remain standing exactly where you are until we tell you it is safe to move forward. Thank you. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, Alan. You're the best. You're the best. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Alan over here. Team Alan. Team Alan. Team Alan. Team Alex! Team Alex! <laughs>
opens and rope drop happens. This rope is getting ready to come on down. There we go. The rope's coming down. The very first rope drop in over a year. Woo! Yeah! We're back! We're back on the we're back. No 
The Matterhorn being tested and Vance getting ready for its July 2nd opening. Now as we're walking down the parade route and towards Fantasyland, I want to share some big news with you. A big, huge update. Storybook Land Canals. The ride itself. Cast members are training at Storybook Land Canals. And we are hoping that it will be reopening soon. Because it's a positive sign that they're testing it right now. We do not have an official date yet of when it will open up. But they have been testing Storybook Land Canals. Getting ready to reopen. And speaking of reopening, this Friday at the Rivers of America, if you like canoes... The Davy Crockett Canoes will be returning on Friday. So it's going to be pretty exciting for the canoes to come back. Here's a look at the training to get this ride at Storybook Land Canals back open. Cannot wait. It's still temporarily unavailable, but a lot of progress is being made. And right over by the Matterhorn and in Tomorrowland, there is still no update for when the monorail will reopen. I'll keep you guys updated if anything changes of when the Matter monorail, <laughs> excuse me, I almost said Matterhorn. I meant monorail, when the monorail reopens. And down over by the monorail in Tomorrowland, there's no word, no opening date yet for the Finding Nemo submarine voyage. Hopefully soon, it's just gonna take time because they are working on bringing back cast members, training everybody and like hiring more people to get the remaining attractions open and the rest of the restaurants and food places back open so stay tuned no Matterhorn today like I said scheduled to reopen Friday July 2nd and when it does reopen I'm gonna Go we'll take a ride on the icy slopes and share with you the Matterhorn. I think I'll share with you guys the both sides. I'll film the Tomorrowland side. I heard it's a little funner on that side. And the Fantasyland side. And here's a look at the Finding Nemo Submarine Lagoon. There's the submarines and then there's the monorail station hopefully we'll get those back soon it's just gonna take time we don't know when but the update right now is 
no time frame yet of when they will be officially opening up. And if you like shopping, uh, this just broke today. The gift shop in front of the Matterhorn has reopened. This has been closed ever since the parks reopened and now it's back open. So you like uh, getting merchandise from here? This is now back open for shopping. Oh, look who I found. It's Jasmine. Princess Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. How's it going? Lastly, I'm going to take you guys in Toontown for a quick little update on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. As if you guys haven't seen it yet, I know I showed you guys on reopening day the construction walls have appeared, but they since added of uh, what it's going to look like. For the attraction. So here it is. Uh, this is what's now on the construction walls for the upcoming Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. The entrance of what the entrance is gonna look like for the ride, it's gonna be awesome. The Al Capitone Theater. It's nice that they put this rendering on there. So you guys have a good looks of what it's gonna look like. Still no progress. They have not started any real work inside Toontown yet around these construction walls but it will be happening soon and I got a little treat for you guys like I will take a little ride in a little bit on Gadget's Gold Coaster right here in Toontown and I'm gonna get to you guys a little filming look of the open area that is around the show building for the attraction so i'll give you guys a good view of it from gadget's go coaster a little bit later and i'll be sure to post it later on so stay tuned for that because it will be one heck of a ride on gadget's go coaster and showing what they got going on behind those construction walls of the brand new Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway.
I cannot wait for 2023 to get here for that. And I am so excited that Disneyland is back to normal. Not yet, we're not at full capacity yet, but we're like, it's back to good old normal days with rope drop and stuff. So if you guys are coming to the parks anytime, be sure to get here early. The lines will get backed up for security. And be sure to have a great time. As everybody knows, this is a very special park. 65 years old, turning 66 in a few weeks. So exciting. And anyways, that'll do it for this video. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys real soon with some more updates. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Talk to you real soon.